Hello, beautiful soul. This is Psychic Mia with SpiritualSociety.com. I am so grateful for your presence. So happy to have you here. I am going to do an intuitive tarot reading for you today. Ah, take a breath. Let go of the day. I want you to start to get this question going in your mind. What you need to hear right now. You can say it out loud if you can. What you need to hear right now. What you need to hear right now. Take a breath and choose card one, card two, card three, or card four. Now. Mm. Welcome in card one. Thank you so much for joining me. Ah, shake off any extra energy that you have, anything that's not serving you right now, anything you want to let go of. I give you permission to just be right here, right now. This is what you need to hear right now. That's what we're here for. Mm. Focus and channel that energy my way. And let's see what we've got. The Hierophant It's where we're getting started. So I think that there are some rules. My immediate head is that there's some rules, restrictions, some things about that you're feeling pressure of from society, that you're feeling you're feeling the restrictiveness of. This could come from, from things from your family. This could come from pressures from uh, your work circle. It feels like there are certain things that aren't things that you hold dear, but there are things that other people are find very important that they're pushing towards you and that you're kind of dodging left and right and maybe you're even taking on and holding on to as a burden for you timelines um i'm feeling like some timelines some labels some things that feel restrictive to you and we have the world reversed and i feel like settling into some of some of this energy um I feel like you're not possessing everything that you could. You're not reaching your full potential right now. And I think that has to do with more than just that. There is a part of you that's sort of, I hate to say the say lagging behind because that, that doesn't, doesn't sound nice, but I think that you are, you're struggling a little bit. You're a little further back than where you want to be. You're not reaching your full potential. You're not... You're not filling out your life the way that you want to be filling it out. Um, and I think that there's, there's room for immediate change here. That's what that feels like. Um, okay. Justice. Hmm. I don't get an immediate hit on justice. It didn't immediately zing me anywhere. So let's come back to justice. Mm hmm I'm feeling something right in here. The Ten of Wands. This is interesting because it's so immediately I feel that you've been, this is, I mean, this, this card is hardworking, bringing things to completion, bringing things all around our wands. Often they're fire. They often have to do with our work and our, I, I feel a struggle. I feel, um, I feel a struggle that's still not giving you the results that you want, which is, you know, which is interesting. So I feel like maybe you're struggling in the wrong areas. You're working really, really hard, but maybe you're not working really, really hard for what you actually want. And actually, I feel like I'm getting a kind of strong hit on that. So what I want to do in this moment is to just take a moment. Ooh, I, I feel some little slices of energy. Take a moment, close your eyes. What is it that you really want more than anything? The thing that you have a hard time saying, putting words to, because it feels, maybe it feels preposterous. Maybe it feels embarrassing. Maybe it feels, maybe it feels scary because if you claim it as what you want, if you don't get it, it will be painful. Ooh. You can open your eyes. Just hold on to that for me. That knowledge is safe. Just the knowing is safe. 
and you're safe here in this space. You're allowed to acknowledge and know things, and that, that doesn't mean it's going to automatically require something different of you, but often it will require something different of you because you'll actually want to start walking down that path towards the true goods, towards what you truly want. Mm. Mm. We have this star reversed. Ah, I feel this very much. The true potential of what you can have, of what you want, it's gonna unlock things beyond beyond your wildest dreams, not just beyond your wildest dreams, but your wildest dreams of who you can be. I don't think you've even tapped that yet. I think the potential is so much greater than what you're willing to see, acknowledge, give credence to. I think that you, um, you don't even realize yet the magnificence that you can bring to your own life, to the world. I, I think it is, it's time to turn this around. Mm. Okay. The Fool. Eee! <laughs> I love this. This is fun. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, the Fool can, you know, it can go either way like a lot of cards can. It's that, that open arms and in that little anchor of something, that little seed of something that we just felt, that thing that you don't want to say out loud, that thing that you don't want to go after, or that you've maybe been subconsciously even trying to avoid, it's time to open your arms to it. It's time to feel foolish and embarrassed by it. It doesn't mean you have to go telling everyone. It doesn't mean you have to open it up to the world to see yet. It can be something that you work on in, in silence. It could be something that you only open up for yourself. But I want you to sit with that with open arms. If you're in a position in a place right now where you can open your arms, do it just like this card, only both palms up. I, I encourage you to just physicalize this for one second and open your arms to the potential of what that can be, to the potential of what this can be and what this can mean for you in your life and who you are and what you're actually working towards. One thing I, I, I feel very greatly is that what a sad thing it is when we work so hard for something that we don't actually really want that much. And, and maybe it's from following these social guidelines. Maybe it's from following something someone else wants for us, the rules that have been put in place for us, the labels, the destinations that we feel we should be getting to. But when the world turns upside down for us, when it comes right back up and we get everything we want, mm, ooh, I'm still coming back to justice. Mm, I, I think that's a beautiful energy. Oh, a beautiful directive. And the High Priestess, you know. You know. You have such a knowing. You have such a knowing, such a wisdom. You, uh, you have a psychic knowing. You have a deep, intuitive knowing. You have done the work of, of studying and figuring out and and you've placed, you've placed weight into places that have fostered something in you, which has planted that seed, that seed that, that, that can, can tap into these beautiful places where you can work towards what you really want and really truly bring that to fruition. Mm. You don't need to second guess anything. I think when you own it, you're going to know it so hard, and you probably feel it even right now, where you know it, ooh, okay, both of these I'm feeling, but I'm feeling this one first. The moon. 
I feel like this is a rather a, a call to action. I think that there is some moon time for you. I encourage you, um, I encourage you, this, this little piece, this little thing, this big thing that's huge and important and, um, and has been tucked away inside of you. I want you, if you could do it tonight, do it tonight. Tomorrow, if you want to wait for a full moon, whatever, I, but I want this to happen. And I don't want you to set too much stock in putting it forward. I want it to happen sooner. I want you to discuss this with the moon. The moon gets our secrets. The moon can be our confidant. The moon can be the sounding board, the place to put those desires into language. The knowing, the light, the the shadows, how beautiful. It is a space that is that is safe for you. And then we can start to, to let it sit into your brain, sit into your body, it can start to come alive in your sleep, and that manifestation can start to happen. Mm. The Knight of Cups reversed. So I am not getting a full hit on whether there's someone in your life right now or if this is someone in the future. But I think that this will not be right. The, the Knight of Cups is a beautiful card. It's, I mean, goodness, the romance of it, the, the man, the, the, that energy, that, that open, emotional, filling the cup, white, the horse energy, I just, yes, yes. But I'm seeing this as whether it's someone in your life right now or someone coming into your life, I don't think that you're going to be able to make it work until you are fully embracing what you really want in life for yourself. I think that needs to happen for this to come out right for this to turn over for you. <sighs> mm. The Four of Wands reversed. I think it's the same thing. Let me turn this upright for just a second because, oh, what a beautiful card we have. This card for me feels very, uh, you know, very wedding-ish, very um, cel celebratory. It, I, I, there's, there's something coming, coming to fruition. But in order for it to come, I, again, I think you have to acknowledge, this is really hitting home for me that what we think we must do, what we think we must be, who we think we must be, who we've been taught and told and reinforced that we we should be and what we should be doing. The, the truest everything in our lives, what we think we can't have because if we acknowledge what we really want, it's not true. You can, but you can set everything in alignment. You can set everything up right. You can turn it all over and get everything, all of the dots, you can get it all by turning that one thing over, by acknowledging and starting to move towards your true destination, your true destiny, your true destiny. You can have it all. And that's a beautiful thing. I wanna flip over this uh, anchor card, our first card, and see where we are. Mm, the Three of Pentacles. You know, it's so interesting. This is such a studious card. Uh, and, and it has some feelings that go back to sort of this, the Hierophant. Um, for me, it felt a little parallel. Like you've been asking for sage advice. You've been asking for advice. You've been talking. You've been... You've been mulling it over. You've been having this, these conversations. You've been studying and getting it right and building this architecture and building this, this magnificent piece of artwork. 
but I think you've been you've been you know building something that isn't the actual building you want. I am going to suggest you stop asking for advice. Right now, for a little while, there will be a time, there'll be a place. People are resistant to change. And if there is something you truly want for yourself, the people closest to you in your life probably are not going to just immediately be behind it. And and I, I don't think we need to fault them for that. That's, you know, that's their own socializing, their own, you know, beliefs. But once you've started, once you're in motion, people are much more likely to support it. I think that the only people you should be asking advice from are people outside of your normal, your, your normal circle. Um, the people who have a very different perspective. But even then, I think you need to sit with yourself. I think you need to ask the moon. I think you need to talk to the moon. You need to open your arms. I think you need to talk with yourself. And that's where this needs to start. And that's where the motion needs to start. That's where the moving forward needs to start. This is exciting. This is a fun read. Um, so I'm going to do a little candle wax reading as well, which is also exciting and fun. So we're going to just move some things a little bit. Ugh. How beautiful. Life is exciting and beautiful, isn't it? Especially when, when we feel like there's the potential to be our fullest, truest, highest selves. It's a rather incredible thing. <sighs> so I'm gonna stay here for just a second. I wanna get some more information. Oh, I am getting the best energy right now. I, I really am. I want you to just, if you can open your arms, if you can start voicing what it is that you want, I feel so much strong, positive, optimistic, incredible energy. There are going to be moments that feel like a struggle, absolutely. But I can almost guarantee you that there are going to be, you are going to feel like it is the best decision, the best moment, the best thing that you've ever done. It's going to feel so right, so powerful, so real, so true. Mm. I think you are building even now as you think about it it's starting to put it into motion the magnetism starting around you you're starting to open up this vortex it is going to happen so fast it is going to come together so fast so incredibly fast and it's not it's going to be a lot of work but not in the way that you're used to it's going to be going to feel like a different kind of work because it's something you really truly desire and want and people aren't going to even recognize you as the same person. You're going to transform so much and accomplish so much so quickly it's going to take people's breath away and they're going to ask you a lot of questions. And there's going to be a lot in that in which you are going to have to really protect yourself and your time and your focus because that focus still has to come back to you. You still have to move it forward. Mm. There's a whole new relationship that is coming of you with yourself and with the way that you experience and live in this life. Holy moly. Oh. Take a moment to put your hands on your heart center. If your eyes are closed, go ahead and open them and take a look straight into the flame. I 
I don't know if you feel the same energy that I do, but I feel such an energy. Take a breath with that energy. My heart feels extremely open for you. I am sending you the most powerful movement-oriented, action-oriented energy that I have. Because I think the greatest gift is coming your way. And it is going to land you in a life that you love. It's everything you want. It's everything. I'm so excited for you. If you want to do a deeper dive, if you need help, getting into the, the pit of what this is, fleshing it out, you can do a deeper read. There's a link below so you can do that. This is very exciting. Thank you for your time. Thank you for bringing your energy here. Thank you for, for seeing and hearing yourself and opening yourself up honestly. Mm. Go to the moon. Go to the moon tonight. Open your arms. It is all coming. And I guess we'll find out what this justice is about. <laughs> you might know. That might be something you know. It's just not coming through for me. Ah. Sending you so much love. All the light. All the light that I have within me. Yeah. Welcome in card two. Ah, thank you so much for coming in here, for bringing your beautiful energy to me. Ah, start to release your day. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, okay. See if you can bring your focus right here, right now, to this moment. Take a look at our crystal. Let it expand out. Let that energy expand out so you're just noticing. You're just here. You're just present. Let's find out what you need to hear, what you need to know. Right now. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. Mm. You've been working really hard. And and I think that, that there's something very deflating in that. You've been working very hard. You've been saving money. You've been trying. You've been working on it. And then I think things just, maybe there was a, like a financial setback, something with your car, something with your teeth, or who knows. But something just feels like it pulled a pin out, and a lot of your hard work has... You're feeling very deflated, I feel like, about, about something, about this building process that you've been on. Um, let's see what else we need to know. How that links back into everything else. Okay. Justice. This is so funny. We pulled justice in the last reading, and I did not get a clear read on it at all. I, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of a read on justice for you. I do feel like that there's, there's, you're just feeling like things aren't fair. And I think that this is a sign that things are going to come out right. Whatever is feeling really unfair, maybe this has to do with a uh, thing with your work, maybe with a coworker, maybe with somebody getting credit for something you're not getting seen. Whatever is feeling like like you deserved something that you didn't get. I think that there is there's something to that, that things are going to come out all right. You are going to be just fine. Things are, are coming in with this, this sharp sword. It is, it is, there is going to be a time of reckoning. Reckon, reckoning. I can see if I can use my, my words. Okay. Um, The hermit. And I do feel like some of this deflating energy has really pulled you into an insular space. 
you've really been like taking some time away from other people. You've been taking some time away from your usual, usual social um, outlets. You've been doing a lot of internal soul searching. I, I kind of feel like you're unhappy right now. You're unhappy with some of your life, some of your life happenings with maybe I, I, I keep feeling work uh, that there's like something that's just very unfulfilling going on and you're not really sure what to do about it but you've been taking time to sit inside yourself to shine some light on it and you're figuring that out and I do think that you are figuring that out those wheels are turning and you know sometimes these injustices and these bad moments where things sort of fall apart I feel like those things have to happen sometimes in order for us to truly move forward like you could be stuck in a space for a long time if you had no real impetus to move forward or do that soul searching the world reversed this was in my last reading as well you know i i feel like there is so much waiting for you there's something so beautiful something so full and fulfilling and there is something there is something free and wonderful and what I just got ahead of um, it was like some traveling, something where you can get some distance between you and sort of the tediousness of the day to day. Something that makes you smile when you don't know you're smiling. You don't have to put it on for anyone. You're just feeling the joy and the freedom. And uh, you know what also strikes me right now in this moment is um, in order to create some space around you, if you can't run off to travel in this moment, um, is I think maybe you need to, I think maybe you need to put some distance between you and how easily you are contacted by the outside world as well. I feel like the influx of email, the influx of phone calls, text messages, DMs, all of that stuff, I want you to give yourself permission for like a week or at least for a day or a few days to not get back to people and to not get back to people right away, to take your time. You can see that there's something there and you can take a few days or you can not look at all. Ha! Huh. <laughs> you could leave an away message if you wanted to, that you're out of the office, you're out of town, you know, even if you're not, um, because you are, you need it spiritually. There is something that's that's feeling very sticky and stuck and we want to turn this over there's beautiful incredible freedom that awaits you and you're not able to tap that right now i'm feeling something back in here it's one little okay the seven of cups reversed yeah i feel the energy the energy still there's I feel like there's a lot of daydreaming. There's a lot of, there are a lot of thoughts that sort of roll through your mind like, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't this be nice? Uh, just daydreaming about all sorts of things. Daydreaming about things you would want to happen and daydreaming about things you don't want to happen as well. Daydreaming about the worst case scenarios, the things that sort of torture us uh, as if we're preparing ourselves for them. I think that that needs to go for a little while. I think that your mental energy can be better spent. And I think that what you need in order to do that is to create some space. I think you need to create some space for you to have some freedom in your life. And that could be actual physical space of taking a trip, traveling. That could just be clearing some mental space by, by putting some boundaries around you and the outside world. And you've done that in a lot of ways. So you know that like what you need. I f and what I feel here is that that kind of gets into your nighttime energy. You know, the times when you're not expected to be on call to the world. You're not expected to get right back to someone or, you know, you've been able to do some internal work and, and go inside yourself. And that's opened up some freedom in that way. I think that you, I think there's something a little dangerous about this, about so much thinking and not enough action, space, clarity of the real. What is really in your life right now? What is really around you right now? Yeah, that, 
I think if you can take little mini meditation moments too, just right now, what do you feel? What do you actually physically feel? What do you see? What do you hear? Even for just one minute, two minutes, throughout the day, when you're out taking a walk, you can just pause and stop. You can be in the middle of the chaos of life, the chaos of all the hard work, and you can just step back and just notice. I think creating some space is going to be really important because this is not living up to your potential. This is not living up to the kind of life you deserve and should have. Yeah, and I feel that as the pressures of, I kind of feel that as the immediate, like, of what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, take some space and your, your, your social pressure brain says, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, because of work, this, X, Y, Z, you know, things are going to pass me by. It's, I feel like there's that feels like a restrictiveness to me that just sort of pops up immediately, which makes sense. That's what we all sort of think, but I don't think that that is entirely true. Oh boy. The tower reverse. The towers are big change, big change card. I have to say, I like the tower card. <laughs> and I know that that's, you know, it can really go either way. Um, and it is reversed here for us, but, but boy, do I sometimes feel like we really do just have to burn some things down. Here's what I read off of this. I read off of this right now that there are sort of two options. Things can burn down and change because you want them to and you put it into motion, or they can burn down and change because they are going to burn down and change whether you like it or not. And you have, you have the power for, for either one of those, but something is going to burn down and change. It, is, it, is, it needs to change. It can't stay the way it is. It, you can't just you know, stay in that insulated space. It's not working. This isn't a tenable situation. This isn't a situation you can just sort of relax into or want to stay in. You can distract yourself out of this as much as you can, but you still are going to have a burn down and change. Even if you distract yourself for the next year, it's, you know, the universe isn't going to let you because the universe loves you and wants you to be fulfilled and happy and doesn't want you to have to distract yourself away from things the way that you are right now. So we have some decisions to make. We can sort of face this and burn it down and change it ourselves. Or we can let the universe and the world around us burn it down for us. And, you know, both are kind of good options, honestly. Sometimes it's nice to have outside forces forcing us into change. But honestly, I think it's much nicer for us to choose it ourselves sometimes we feel a little powerless when that change happens if it's not our own if it's not of our own making uh, i feel i feel a little energy coming up relax those shoulders for me take a breath you can just shake your hands out if you want to maybe smile or have a little laugh at the absurdity of of the way things work out of of just being human you know <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to just like, well, ugh. Oh, the moon. This is interesting. I feel, I feel what's hitting me about this is that there is a, I think real clarity for you is gonna come in the night. 
and I think it's gonna come very uh, like tonight, this week, your evening times. I think you need to cut out distraction in the evening. This peace where you've been sort of stepping into yourself, that's good. That's been necessary, but I also think that you need to let it go wild a little bit. I think it needs to not, I, I think, I do think that those, those, those thoughts, the insular thoughts that are just rolling around in your head, I think those need to go for a little bit. I think you're going to need to like put on some music and just pace around your home. If you could do it outside, if you could do it in the silence, you can talk to yourself out loud. If you could do it outside, that would be amazing with the moon out shining down on you. But I think you need to work through some of this energy. I think you need to, to be okay letting go of some of those distractions just for a little bit, just for, just for a pause. Those distractions often keep us safe. They make us they make life livable for us sometimes when otherwise it's very difficult to make it through certain situations or some things that just feel very tedious or mundane or whatever it is. It's okay to recognize that, but I think you need to take it away for a minute. That's like the security blanket, you know? Like, let's remove it for a second and sit into the heat of it, sit into the fire of it, sit into the moonlight. Walk around in it, talk out loud in it, use your body, do things that would make you embarrassed if people saw you do them. Nobody's seeing you do them. That's the beauty, this is just you. Just be in that energy. Take a break from other people, take a break from the other distractions. Sit into it, this is important. You are important. You are important. How you feel every single day is important. The energy that you live in every single day is important. How your heart feels is important. Mm. Mm. Five of Swords reversed. Hmm. I feel like this is coming back to some of this justice energy too. Like something was taken from you. Something in your heart. Something. I think some a lot of this distraction is being caused by it. Even the hard work of the building up and the. I feel like that's still all just a layer around something that really hurt you. And it feels like heart hurt. It feels like a, a cruelness. Whatever energy just opened up for me, it feels like it was, it feels like a gift that, that you opened up that piece to let this shine through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever this was. Justice awaits. All of it, for all of it, all those lines that justice awaits. And beyond that, you don't even have to sit into that that needing of justice. It's okay to move on now. To howl at the moon. To burn it down. To take back what's yours. Your heart, your thoughts, your presence of life, your energy, your presence of being. It's time to take it back. Gosh, I just feel an overwhelming sense of love for you. Okay. Two of Wands reversed. 
the Two of Wands feels very much like a planning card, travel card, seeing the world, Three of Wands, like if it's a buyer moving things with like a, maybe a career path, creativity. This feels right now like stagnation. That same stagnation that sitting into the thoughts, doing the distractions, not getting to be your full self, all of those things. It feels like there's a pause. And I feel like this planning needs to happen for the future. Yeah, but I think movement needs to happen. Movement. I feel so many thoughts. It's just, man cannot live on thoughts alone. You know, we don't, we don't change our life. It, change can start with our thoughts, but action needs to happen. Action needs to happen. I want you to pace your floors. I want you to pace the bare ground. I want you to talk to the moon. I want you to tell things out loud. And then I want that to lead to actions. I think things need to change. I think you need to instigate it. I think you need to start it. I don't, I don't love this space for you. You are beautiful. You deserve beautiful things. All right, let's see what our original card was. The King of Wands. Oh my. Oh my. You know, I don't feel this as a partner energy. That doesn't mean that there isn't an amazing partner in your life or coming right into your life. Because I do. I think that that love is oh, all that strength and yumminess. I feel this is your energy. I feel this is your masculine, fire, creative, doing energy. I think it's time to light it on fire. I think it's time to sit into your power. I think it's time to open up this vortex and you're, you're gonna do it. And you're gonna feel so powerful doing it. And it's gonna be magnetic to everyone. It is that aura, that magnetism is gonna spread everywhere you go, all around you. Ooh. Ooh, okay, now we are going to do a little candle reading, which I think will be very enlightening and fun. I just want to channel some energy and see what comes through, see what we need to know. All right, so I'm going to do a little wax reading. Oh my. Mm. Take some breaths. I sort of feel like you need a good cry. I kind of feel like I need a good cry after this, this card just opened something up. Take a breath for that. What was taken from you? Take it back right now. Turn those pieces into your body, into your heart, into your soul. It is yours. No one can take it from you. If you're in a place where you can physically do that, I encourage you to reach out and take what you have lost and bring it right back to you and put it right back in your heart and breathe it in. <gasps> because that was important. Oh dear, I'm feeling very emotional. It was important. And someone took it away.
play for me. That felt awful. But it is not theirs anymore. Take it back. You are your best champion. You are going to have all the things you want in life. You're going to have the best soulmate relationship. You're going to have all kinds of glorious, amazing things. But first and foremost, you are going to champion yourself. You are going to be that for you. You are the brave person who goes and takes back what is theirs. I feel so much love for you. is going to turn out right. You are going to harness any warrior energy that you need. The king of wands energy that you need. And you are going to sit into it and move forward in it. You are precious. What you hold right now is precious. You are worth choosing. Prove it by choosing yourself. Choose yourself now. Burn it down. Boy, am I grateful for you, for your life, for your energy, for your openness to being here, to doing this. Mm. Oh my. Take a moment to look into the candle flame. I want you to imagine what you need to do, what the first thing you need to do is imagine yourself under the moon, walking, pacing, talking. You could be listening to music, you could just be in the silence, you could be in the in the stillness with your own voice, the own your own power of your voice. It's time to come out of the darkness. You know what you need to know. The world awaits you. Everything you want awaits you. Let's put the daydreams to rest. You don't need those anymore. You don't need those anymore. And occasionally you will. Occasionally you'll need the distractions, you'll need the things, but make the commitment that you're going to keep coming back to yourself. You're going to keep moving forward for yourself action because you choose you mm. sending you so much love so much light and I'm sending you fire energy the fire that you need to make every ounce of change that you need to sit on your throne to walk in your power. Thank you for being here. If you want a deeper dive on anything, there's a link below so you can do that. I'm excited for you. <sighs> Until next time. Mia. Welcome in card three. <sighs> Thank you so much for being here, sharing your beautiful energy with me. Ah, shake off the day. Mm. Bring your focus and clarity right here to me. You're finding out what you need to know, what you need to hear, what is important.
King of Cups reversed. I'm letting something hit me. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the loss of a man. It feels like a loss. It is a loss, but it's not a finality. The energy around this is bringing something back to you that's better, that's upright, that's, that's full and complete and overwhelming and overflowing. The King of Cups is, is a, a deep feeler, emotionally intuitive, who can say the right things, take responsibility, who can be in all the right spaces. And I think that this, this feels like a misalignment of timing. Like this person has the potential, had the potential, had all of the things, but it just was misaligned. But that energy is not gone. I don't feel that energy is a gone thing. It feels like an undulating energy that's coming back around in a different form that is right and it is the right timing that is in alignment. And it could be in alignment with the same person. Or it could be a new person. Uh, let's, let's keep on reading. Let's see what we've got. Chariot reversed. Something was, I think something was, was moving. Things felt like they were moving in this victorious, amazing direction. And I think it just really came to a halt. Things really stopped. They just, it was that feeling like a wheel broke off. And that is it. The wheel needs to be repaired. Things need to be fixed. There is no movement happening right now. There is nothing that can be done here until things get fixed. Um, mm. let's see what else we need to know. I'm feeling something. I'm feeling this one first. Death reversed. Ooh. Things just stopped. I think this laid you out. Oh, gosh. Mm. I, I feel this in a, it's, it's interesting because a whole bunch of heart feeling didn't come up and like slam itself into me. So I feel like there's a part of you that's removed from it in a way, like it's numb a little bit. Like it laid you out, it flayed you, it, you, you had to, to die to something you truly wanted, something you something you truly were walking into, moving with, that just stopped. Huh. Let's see what our next thing is. Things come clear. Ace of Wands. Mmm. You know, it's so interesting, in, in one reading, I, I felt this card very much as, you know, sort of the Olympic torch. The wands are very, you know, they're fire-related. Um, the, the ace cards are new opportunities. There's all of this gorgeous energy here. And this just reminds me of an Olympic torch, you know? Um, and I and I feel that again, and I feel that like burst of movement forward, burst of movement forward. There is a new opportunity coming. There is something fiery and wonderful that I think will set you back to life. I feel like that little bit of numbing, maybe a great bit of numbing, maybe a full complete numbing that's just closed you down, shut you down. You can't even process it, you can't even handle it, just shut down. And I feel this is a warning a little bit though too, of this great, beautiful, intense, moving energy. You, you know, 
when someone is running to give you uh, the Olympic torch, you have to be ready to run. And I feel like there is a piece of you that is not ready for this opportunity. That's not open to it. That numbed part, that part that just got laid out, it's not gonna be ready for this. You know, we hear a siren in the background and I always say that those extraneous sounds, sometimes they're just amplifying messages. It's a warning, it is a siren going off. You need to wake up in a way that you can be ready for this. You need to come back to life in a way that you can be ready for this. Because life is meant to be lived, isn't it? And you want that. It's just painful sometimes. And sometimes it's impossible to sit with the pain of it. But you have to be in a space that's ready to move. That's ready to lift back up and move forward. I think that's going to take a little bit of, a little bit of optimism, perhaps. Um, what can we do to get there? What can we do to be ready for this? And justice reversed. Oh yeah. This immediately feels to me. I I see this as like. I see you like laying on the ground, giving up, and just feeling like, well, that's that. I've got nothing. There's nothing that can be righted. There's nothing that can be fixed here. It's just going to be, it's going to feel unfair, unjust, and I'm just going to lay on the ground into that. That's what I saw and felt here. How can we be on the ground and be ready for this? We can't. And how do we get back up? Mm. Ah. The Seven of Wands. Ooh, the Seven of Wands feels like it. It feels like taking it back up, getting ready. The wands are so fiery. They're so, you know, this, this feels like it could be a struggle card, right? Ready to go in, ready to, to fight, to put up a, and I think that's exactly what you need. I think you need that. I, so immediately I started thinking like Rocky energy. If you have a sports movie that you love, uh, like an underdog sports movie, I think it's time to watch it. You need to get fired up to stand back up and get back in the ring. You need to fi get fired up to just to, to, to take up the fight again, to, to get back to yourself. And I think that's going to be in some small ways, like literally getting on your feet and getting moving, working out, going for a run, going for a brisk walk, listening to some powerful, amped up music, doing some things that make you feel powerful and courageous and ready. And I think that you need some of those, those hacks, if you will. I think you need some energy hacks to get you to get the blood flowing, to get you ready, to get you mentally primed, to be able to receive and move and start that journey forward. <sighs> the Three of Swords, I hate to say it, I think you're gonna have to feel that heartbreak. That, I think that numb space is gonna, it's gonna melt away and Unfortunately, when you take it back up and you come back to the fight, you're going to feel the feelings that you've repressed. You're going to feel that, ooh, ooh, I got such a slam of emotion. Ooh, take a breath with me. You are okay. You are loved. I love you. You love you. There are people in your life that love you. 
You have energy surrounding and supporting you. It is going to be okay. You can feel this without falling into a pit that you can never get out of. You will get out of it. And it's going to feel awful. It's going to feel like you can't breathe sometimes. Sometimes that's what taking the fight back up feels like. Like you can't breathe sometimes. Okay, because you can. By some amazing miracle, our lungs were made to take air back in. You don't even have to think about it. They're just gonna do it. It's gonna feel like a sucker punch. And I think, I think you're gonna need some of those good reinforcing habits mental tricks some of those underdog movies the tower reversed this came up in my last reading and it it stands i feel like what came through before is coming through now i feel like i feel like you can choose this epic amount of change you can choose to start to make it or the universe can choose it for you you're gonna hear your children screaming which is funny it's funny to go along with this card <laughs> they're playing next door and sometimes when they play it sounds like it sounds like you know the sound of someone being thrown from a building <laughs> Oh dear, those sounds that amplify things, that's, that's pretty funny. Maybe you can laugh with me. <laughs> it's going to be okay, even in this incredible epic amount of change. You get to choose whether you choose it or you let it happen to you, but change is coming. And I, I feel like it's good. It's needed. That fire is being lit. Whether we want it to or not, there's no amount of numbing that can really happen. Uh -huh. The Two of Swords. So what strikes me about the Two of Swords in this moment is actually that it's very peaceful. It's funny, that's not the energy I normally get off of it, but I feel like it's a peaceful place. It is, it's calm, it's peaceful. I mean, we're just coming from this reverse tower energy and we're, woo, coming through the slicing hearts and picking up and getting back into action. This feels like decisions are gonna have to be made, but it feels peaceful. Blindfold is on. I feel like this is sort of, in some ways, a good omen of something to come. You're going to have decisions to make, hard decisions to make, and you're going to be in a peaceful place with it. And I want you to try to be in a peaceful place with it. Not only that, but, but I think the blindfold is a good thing. Taking away a sense that you normally rely on, taking away something you normally would used to make your choices. I think this, this really is to tap into your intuition, tap into your intuitive knowing, tap into your seed of knowing. I think take away your usual decision-making tactics, your usual thought process, and let yourself sink into something new when this comes. The Knight of Wands. Mm. This is interesting. I, I, uh, <laughs> I see this both as outside and inside energy. I love this card. Ooh, this is an action card. Holy moly. The 
wands, fire. I mean, we've got this wands, this wand theme energy of picking back up, getting into the fight, getting back into the fight, getting ready to move into action, and being strong and prepared and ready and on fire to move forward and go and to bring things to fruition and woo, this vortex of energy. I also see this as an outside energy though. I see this as someone too. I think someone is coming to you to, is going to help you. As you start helping yourself and as you start taking back up the fight, stepping back into the ring, and you're going to be feeling a lot of things, a lot of stuff is gonna start happening, it's gonna move the ball rolling in a very intense way. I feel like there's an outside force coming to you. It's not only are you riding into this, going into battle, getting ready, getting, feeling fierce, feeling, feeling just unstoppable, but someone is gonna help you along the way too. This could come in the way of a romantic someone. This could come in the way of someone who has the potential to be a romantic someone. I still feel this energy is coming back around, so there might be some decisions to be made there. That could be what is getting into this. We could do a deeper dive on that. But, but I do think regardless of what type of person, whether that's friend, ally, romantic, or otherwise, it's going to be a good force. You're not going to be going this alone. You do have to get back in the ring on your own, but you're going to have help. You are going to have help, and you are going to be the help. Ooh. Okay. I want to see what our first, our first card was. Oh, the Emperor Reverse. Well, the emperor, so smart, so wise, very analytical, very sometimes a little too critical. This is interesting. I feel this is an outside force. I feel this is an outside force that feels, feels like a burden to you. You know, I'm honestly, this could be part of your mind though too. I feel this is like an outside force that you internalize in a way that is beyond what the actual outside force is. So you internalize it into being much more critical, much more intense than, than, the, than it actually is. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can pull any more about that. Yes, we're doing a candle wax reading too. This is so fun. Let's see. Let's see what shows up. Oh. All right, I, th I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a commitment now just to say what comes into, into, into my energetic field. Because sometimes you don't, you know, sometimes I wanna make sure I'm saying it in the right way, but I'm just going to say, I, I, I do think, I think some tears need to be shed. I feel, I feel a chasm that looks kind of like um, a deep, deep hole in the earth, like a cave almost, that feels like you could fall into. And I think that's the fear. The fear of what you could fall into and, and just remain on the ground there, but you're already on the ground, right? This is already the place. This stop motion needs to be fixed. 
wheel needs to be fixed. We need to head back into battle. We need to be ready for this because it's good. And I believe you will be. I believe you can channel that energy. I believe you can be that person for yourself. And I believe that someone else is coming to help you too. But I don't think they're going to come until you take it up for yourself. I feel like this isn't what you wanted to hear. I feel like it sounds like work, and it is. And I'm okay with telling you things you don't want to hear. Are you okay hearing things that you don't want to hear? Find your way to gazing at the candlelight. What I also hear is that what you're doing right now, where you are, that isn't the life you're meant for not meant to mourn the loss of someone. You're not meant to live under harsh criticism from yourself or anyone else. You're not meant to feel like it's just never gonna happen for you. Things will never come out right for you. We all have to die to ourselves sometimes. We all have to die to certain situations sometimes. Sometimes we have to burn it down. When I was a little girl, I took horseback riding lessons. I fell off a horse and I was immediately forced <laughs> by my teacher to get back on the horse because she said, if I didn't, then I might never get back on. Your heart is meant to be loved. You are meant to love. I'm very sorry for your pain the pain that you haven't even fully felt yet. The pain that as you move forward in life is gonna come up and slam back into you. But I am also grateful for it because it means you are alive. It means that you can love, you can be loved. And it means that you are getting ready to love again. Numb might feel safe, but it is not safe. It will burn down. It will force change on you, whether you like it or not. What if you move into that change so that you are ready for the good things as they come? You are capable, you are competent, you are, you have everything you need. You have the intuitive knowing, you have the seed of knowing and decision-making power. You have the ferociousness to do it. You have the ferociousness to do it. You are a warrior. Sending you love and support. So much love, so much support, so you can build what you need to build. And just like that, you will build. Just like that, without even realizing it. Without even feeling like it's been building up one little piece at a time. It will. And you won't even recognize the life you're in, the space that you're in. There are going to be a couple of hard moving pieces. And that's getting back up, getting back in the ring. Because these first moving pieces are going to be the hardest. And then momentum will take over. Even the pain, it's not going to make you want to go numb again. It will take a lot of energy and a lot of heart space. 
but it will also push you and show you where you need to go. Mm. I'm ready for this life for you. This change. Thank you for being here with me. If you need help and clarity on this, you can get a more detailed reading. There's a link below. You have it all. Mm. Let's do this. If you can do something physical today, or if you can watch that underdog moving, do it today. Do it now. Do a few push-ups right now. <laughs> Remind yourself that you're getting back in the ring. You're coming back to life. I love you. Sending you so much light, so much power, so much fighting energy. <sighs> Until next time. Welcoming card four. Take a breath. Shake off the day. <sighs> Try to release any extra energy that you have and Bring your presence right here, right now. Try to focus on that, on what you need, what you need to hear, what you need to know. <sighs> mm. Okay, let's get started. I'm actually feeling this big one first. <sighs> judgment reversed. Hmm. I feel like you're on the brink of something. I feel like you're on the brink of, of making a judgment. You're on the brink of, of making a big decision. And I think you should hold off. I think there's a moment to step back. I think, I think take a moment, step away, step back, take a bigger view, take a bigger scope. There's something that's here that you're not seeing. There's something that needs re-looking at, revisiting. Hmm. The star reversed. There's a brilliance, a brilliance inside of you. A brilliance that's being held, that's not coming fully out, that's not being fully visible, that's not shining. It's not shining the way that it wants to, that it's supposed to. It is, it's trapped. I feel, I feel like a lot of this has to do with your emotions. Uh, the water and the, the, the pouring and the emotions. And I feel like, I feel like that's the key to unlocking this shine, this brilliance within you. Is looking into your emotions, into the feeling of it. And I feel like part of that being trapped within you is you're not being willing to look at the emotions of it. You're not willing to pour it out. You're not willing to, to take it back in, to, to, to handle the water, to deal with the water, to deal with the flow of the feelings that are inside of you right now. That made me kind of want to slow down for a second. And the Ace of Cups reversed. Yes, so I feel very much that... So we get into the, the, the Aces, which often have to do with new opportunity. The Cups emotions, I, we were just talking about those emotions. I feel like you have, you're gonna have this incredible new emotional opportunity to feel, to be, to be overwhelmed with beautiful feelings, joy, love, abundance, just this, this incredible fluidity of feeling within you. But it's being hindered, it's being held, it's being stuck. It's like a river that has a dam in, in it. It's, it's just being held, it's being held, 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 not able to flow, not able to move. 
And in order to get to the opportunity, you're going to have to let that dam loose. You're going to have to pull some of that baggage out. Mm. Mm. Yes. I'm feeling some, some gold over here. Starting here. The sun reversed. Oh, we're really, we're in some reversals, aren't we? Yeah, there's really that stopping point, isn't there? Oh, goodness. Okay, so we're stepping away from the decision. I think we need to step inside. I think you need to step inside of yourself. We need to tap into these emotions. Oh, this brilliance, this this optimism, this beauty, these things that are trapped right now, I feel like that has to do with this decision-making. And some of this decision-making is, is really putting a hold. It's really putting a stopper in the things that flood your life with goodness. I am so interested in this reflooding your life. Honestly, it feels like maybe it's in your body like anxiety. Maybe it's in your body like it feels like a trapped energy. That's what I'm tapping into is like this, this sort of intensity of energy that's sitting inside of your body. That uh, I, and I'll be, I'd love to know if you feel this. That's just sitting in you. That's like, mm, I feel like that's going to feel like like anxiety, like over caffeination almost, you know, that sort of light buzz that's you don't know what to do with. And there's a lot to do with it. There's so much to do with it. It can, it can just shine and fill you up and it needs to be turned around. It needs to be turned around to the outside world. It needs to be turned around inside of you. And it can't just be pr placing this pressure on you or this, this simmering sort of energy in you. Oh. Mm. And the high priestess reversed. We are on a full set of reversals over here. You have all this knowing inside of you. You have all of this wisdom, this intuition, this psychic power, this, 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 beautiful, uh, this, this beautiful presence of knowing and divine understanding and clarity, wisdom within you, but it's not being utilized. It is not being put to rights. That is just another little added point of pressure, another little added point of anxiety. It's not coming out right. It's not coming out fully. It's just being trapped in you. I feel like you probably feel this in your body, in your brain too, but also very much in your body. Uh, ooh. Hello. Okay. Let's continue on. I want to I want to see how we can turn this around. How do we get to what you need? Hmm. I feel like part of this judgment, a part of this, this decision making process that you've stepped up to the you've walked right up to this, like, I'm ready to make this choice, I'm ready to make this decision, this, this decisive action, I'm ready to do this that we're stepping away from that we we should be pulling back from. I feel like it's just a lot to handle. It's a lot to hold. It's a lot to struggle with. It's a lot of work to bring it to completion. Stepping back with it and stepping back from making that decision and taking another look, all of that, it just feels like too much. It's a burden. It's overwhelming. But you can walk it to completion. You can, you can carry it. You can hold this. You can manage this. You can move this forward. 
it's good. It is going to feel like work. It is, uh, but it's going to be good work and it's going to be fulfilling because it's going to bring things to fruition. The ace of swords reversed. Okay. We've got our, we've got two aces reversed here. I think new thoughts, new thought patterns, new ways of thinking, new, um, our swords often have to do with thought and those aces with those opportunities. I think that there are things just really, really coming at you and coming into your world. And I think there might be some energy in you that just wants to shut it all down. Shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. And I am so interested in every single one of these cards coming upright for you. I think that it is it is going to be, there's a hard twist. There's a hard twist somewhere here, but once it's turned, everything can just turn right into alignment. But you're gonna have to make that hard twist. And I think as this comes into alignment, this is going to be a full clarity, a full understanding. If you can make that twist, that's it's gonna feel like work, it's gonna feel like carrying load, it's gonna feel like, a little bit of a struggle, but once you get it there and you can really walk that, and I think that you're going to have a full sense of understanding and knowing, and the opportunities are just going to, are just going to rush right in. Really good things are waiting to come into your aura, coming into your space, coming into your, into your magnetic circle, into your vortex. They're waiting. They're just sort of being pinged off by and and being held within you they're in a holding pattern and that feels terrible because they're not meant to be in a holding pattern they're meant to be expressed so death upright we're gonna have to we're gonna have to lay something out we're gonna have to lay something to rest we're gonna have to die to something something's got to go something's got to go in order for this all to turn um the death card it, for me, it like, really never means actual death. It is very much, we, we're dying to things on a continual, ongoing basis because change is a natural part of life. There are pieces of you, there is something, I think it's maybe situational. There is something situational that's going to have to, I think that might be the hard, the hard turn that you're going to have to accept that, that it's going to mean an end to something and that is going to require acceptance from you. You're going to have to accept that it's going to bring it to a, an absolute end in order to move forward, in order to open yourself up to all of this goodness and how much goodness it is. I think there's, there's probably a lot of fear here over making those steps but you don't need to be afraid of it. There is nothing to fear. The universe is, is supplying you with all the knowledge you need to know that there is goodness waiting after this. There is goodness waiting for this to happen. Yes. And that is where you can receive. That is where it can turn around and your hands can be open and you can receive. The pentacles often having to do with material goods, worldly goods, financial things. I see this too as, you know, I love this little path. I love this entryway. There's something romantic here. There's something beautiful and fulfilling and joyful and excited and flowerful, flowering, where you can, it's, I do think that there's, there's a financial component to this, that there is abundance coming in with all of this, as you can lay this down. But I also think it is the thing that will release you to be able to appreciate, to be in the moment, to smell the flowers, to to see the beauty in every day. Ugh, that feels so wonderful. Just like 
a release of all that pent up internal energy that's just swelling and buzzing. And the five of pentacles, how interesting. This feels and immediately hits me as it's going to open your eyes to something you didn't see before. Uh, a neediness that you didn't see before. It could be in a financial aspect. It could be in a friendship aspect. It could be in a... I feel... I do feel like in a sort of friendship way. Like, perhaps as you're able to look out, as you're able to shine it and turn it around, and everything's projecting from you instead of internally sort of just burning. As it turns around, it's going to affect the people around you as well. And I feel like there is someone specific or a few, maybe two people specifically, but there is, I feel like there is someone who is truly going to benefit from, from your being able to turn this around. It will be a real gift in their life. And I think that is going to be something that can change your perspective and your ability to keep moving forward in this path. Your ability to bring light to someone, to, to be able to sort of feed their soul in what they are really requiring. This might be the perfect step to get started. Look around you. Who could this be? Who do you immediately think of? Could you have them for dinner? Could you make them a, a dinner? Could you help feed their soul in some way? To be an incredible listener, to be incredibly present, to have a warm gift, something that just shows that you are thinking about them, you care. That can be part of what helps you turn everything around. Mm, yes. Let's see our original card. We're going to do a wax reading as well. The Two of Pentacles. Yes. Okay, so as we're coming to this like decision-making moment at the crux, you've been juggling some decisions. You've been juggling some things, and it's been, it's been tricky. It's a lot of upheaval. It's funny. I, I am drawn to this little ship in the back. You know, in movies, because I've never experienced this in real life. When ships are out on sea and they're in a storm, it is terrifying. Woo, that up and down, that swell, that that any moment you could just be crushed by the waves. That's a lot to handle. That's a lot in your hands. That is a lot to juggle. And no wonder you, you want to make a decision. No wonder you want to just move forward, figure it out, and then and then figure things out from there. It's hard to sit into this and to sit into this juggling, sit into this up and down, sit into this storm and the waves. But I think you need to. I think you need to step away and figure this out, sit into the storm a little bit more. There is more than meets the eye, I think. I think this has been something that's been weighing on you for a while. Okay, I can't wait to take bit of a deeper look. Uh, really open up your heart center for me. Mm. Let's see. Let's see what there is to see. I am opening my heart center too going to be as open as I can be. Okay, what came to me immediately was coming back to this emotion. The emotion is the thing. That is the thing. That's the thing we're kind of missing here. I think as we came up to this, like, we're going to make a judgment. We're going to, you're going to decide on this thing. 
you just have to make a decision. You just need to be able to move on or to have some kind of peace of mind knowing that you've made a decision in some way. I feel like that turned off some emotion for you. And it allowed you, because you've, because this up and down, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. It is scary. It is terrifying. No one wants to sit on those waves. No one wants to be in that storm. Those waves could eat that boat alive. How terrifying. How scary. But I invite you to sit back into that and look at those waves. What if you did look at them instead of from a state of chaos and feeling like you're juggling? Something interesting that I haven't really, that hasn't really struck me before is how this juggle that our two of, of pentacles is doing is pretty safe actually because they're being held together. It's not as much work as is required as, as our figure presents or as we might immediately think. What if you could step back in a more peaceful way, in a calm state? And I do think the way to start that is to start here. Start with this need. Look at something outside of yourself. Take a moment to get outside of yourself. The most beautiful things that are available to come into your life right now are going to require real peace of mind, a real presence, a real alertness, but a calm, an ability to have the waves rolling underneath where you can look and know what to do. Look at them without fear, without trepidation, without feeling the inner anxiety. Because all the things that are going to turn around to meet you are going to give you every single tool that you need to handle whatever it is, to handle the hard things. You are completely capable of doing hard things. You are completely capable. You have every tool that you need. And although on the surface it feels a little scary and it causes an anxiety, a lot of that is from headspace. A lot of that is from thought space, not from the actual doing. When you're in it and you're doing it, I think you're going to feel more capable and confident than you ever have before. Hmm. I think you know what I'm talking about. I would love for you to comment below to let me know that you know what I'm talking about and that you feel this. Take a moment to look into the candle, to look into the flame. You have everything you need. Now, the emotional part. Who? How do we dip into the water? How do we dip into the water? I want to be open to your energy for a minute. Maybe get some understanding and clarity on that. How do we let it flow? How do we make that happen? What first comes to me is just willingness. It's kind of like exercising where sometimes it's just the thought of exercising and then you have to get warmed up and you don't always feel like doing it. Once you're in it, you come around to it and our emotions are often very much like that. It can be exhausting to let yourself go into the emotional spaces. It can be so tiring and it can require extra energy and effort. And I think you might need to warm yourself up to it a bit. 
and you know that you're not going to feel like it. You're not going to feel like going there. You're not going to feel like finding those spaces where the water runs inside of you. And that's okay. It's not going to diminish what happens when you do. If you can put your hands on your heart, I invite you to do that now. Just let yourself open. If you can say, I love you, to you, let yourself. If you can say, I trust you, to you, do that now. If you are willing to be in the water, you will change everything. If it still feels really sticky and really hard, I'm gonna suggest you get in some actual water. Take a bath, take a tub, drink some water. If you could go to the ocean, put your feet in the ocean. If there's a lake nearby, there's a body of water that you know and like, you can play sounds of rain. I want you to be around actual water. There's a float tank place nearby. Now might be the time to do it, to try it out. It's okay. You're supported. You're safe. I'm here. You're here. The water is fine. <laughs> Scary at times. But I'm here with you. Mm. If you'd like to do a deeper dive, there's a link below so you can do that. I'm sending you so much love. I'm sending you all the water. Let's turn these cards around. It is worth it. I believe that. I think you believe that too. I can't wait to do this with you again. Hmm. Until next time, Mia. Yeah.